Hey folks, this is Alex Coulomb of Agile Lens Immersive Design and Virtual Experience showing you another little tutorial on how to use the new VR template for Unreal Engine 4.13. This was created by Tom Lumen and uh, thanks to him again for helping me figure out a few more things on how to use his excellent new template. Um, so assuming that you've already taken your um, stuff and migrated it either into the template or vice versa. Um, here I am in a, a virtual experience model, thanks to virtual experience for um, letting me play in here as a test. Um, what we're basically going to be doing today is figuring out how to take an object in the scene and allow it to be picked up by motion controls similarly to how uh, these guys are in the template scene. Um, again, if you guys are, have no idea what I'm talking about right now, feel free to check out the video in the description by Real Pictures PL. They've done a great job just going over the basic template. But um, yeah, I want to show you how to allow something to be pick upable in here. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is implementing the pickup actor interface. And so, you know, for no particular reason, I'm going to pick this pillow. And the first thing you're going to do is, uh, it probably is going to say, if it's just a normal object in your scene, static mesh actor, we're going to add a blueprint to it. So we're going to go blueprint, add script, and drop that in whatever kind of blueprint folder you might have. Looks about right. And we're going to go over to class settings up here. And here under interfaces, we're going to add the pickup actor interface. That is now implemented, as you can tell. And then we're going to go back over to the viewport there, which I guess we're already in. And now we just want to change a couple settings here. It's going to be movable. We're going to be doing simulate physics. We're going to simulate this stuff. And movable, by the way, is going to happen automatically when you choose simulate physics. But yeah, this is all just kind of the same settings as the pickup cube. And um, oh, and also under lighting, Tom pointed out that you can actually save some calculations by checking that box, simple sample shadow, <laughs> simple sample shadow from stationary lights. There we go. And uh, now last thing we need to do is in the event graph, we need to have the same functionality as the uh, pickup cubes. So since I've already got that sample over here in the corner, hidden away, uh, we're going to bring that up. And so this is just the default event graph that comes with that, and we're just going to copy it over to our new pick up a bull object. Great. And this scene, and that should be it really, that's uh, pretty much all we have to do. And then this scene, by the way, is uh, already set up with navigation meshes, which, um, as you might have seen in my previous video, is necessary for teleportation to work. So I've adjusted the settings to allow you to, you know, use that ramp and go up there, and there shouldn't be any navigation on the roof. Um, so in theory, everything should work. Let's find out if it does. <laughs> Okay, and as you see, uh, that was pretty much exactly what we wanted. The pillow was pick upable and it bounces off of things and collides and you can drop it, throw it, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, that's a, a big improvement over uh, my last pass of trying to do this. I was trying to use an older method of uh, just using collisions <laughs> in physics and well, here's what that looked like. But anyway, so um, yeah, so you can pretty much go through any object in your scene to and follow those steps creating a blueprint, copying over things, and make it an interactable object. Now, I am curious if anyone knows the answer to this, if there is, A, an easy way to do many objects at once, because uh, it can take a bit if you have a lot of different objects in your scene and you have to create a new blueprint for each of them, and B, if anyone knows a simple way to play with destructible meshes, um, you know, as an example, it would be kind of cool if you could throw a plate against the wall and have it smash. Uh, this is just something I'm curious about, so if you happen to have any insight in that, please feel free to leave a comment. Um, and I guess I'll just leave you with a little video of me here having some fun with picking up objects and throwing them around once I've added a bunch of blueprints. Okay, so I've made a bunch of the objects in the scene interactable. Um, a couple of them I've tried with, uh, tried stuff with gravity. I think like this couch, for example. Yeah, like if I lift that up and let go, it's just gonna hang out there because there's no gravity. So 
who knows maybe that's useful sometimes um yeah you'll see there's some real-time shadows there but then you also have the baked shadows uh pretty sure those would go away if i redid a light map fake with um some of these objects now set to movable oh look there's two of these somehow not sure how that happened bah! cool um don't think i made any of these interactable no nope, but we do get chairs chairs take that chairs <laughs> that was weird. Go over here. That's our pillow friend. And I wanted to see, yeah, if I could have um, two objects on top of each other. Ooh, that's interesting. So if I put one object there and then lift that one, it's gonna, huh, fall through. How odd. Interesting. What else do we get? We got a plant. Go over there, plant. Got these things, this is actually all part of the same mesh, so that's just gonna be the way it is. Frisbee! <laughs> um, what else? Oh, look at those reflections, that's pretty cool. Oh. And this thing, yeah. Let's put that on the floor. <laughs> Nice. nice. <laughs> All right. And, uh, can I teleport with an object? I can. Okay. I'm up in the loft. I really want to have a plant up here. I'm gonna put a plant right there. Whoop. Uh, <laughs> That didn't work so well. Yeah, it's because the plant's too tall. Okay, so what? I'm in the bathroom now. How'd that happen? <laughs> Take the lamp. Get down there, lamp. Uh. Woo! All right, I think I've made a, an appropriate mess of things. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. 